I would like to thank each and every one of you for coming. Please do not forget we have a letter of opposition to Common Core right back there. Please sign it before you leave. One more thing, April 9th, state school board meeting. We need to rally. We have got to stop, or excuse me, we have to support HB 1202. It is our last chance in this legislative session to kill Common Core. Please, please help us. That again is April 9th, 3 p.m., 3.30 p.m., the state school board meeting. Where? Where? Here? Right across the street. Okay, right okay. over there, room 201. Oh, or 201 Colfax, I'm sorry. 201 Colfax, right over there. <laughs> Thank you, and then I'm gonna turn it over to you. Thank you. Well, we are gonna close, and we wanted to bring up Pastor Eric Hemp, who is one of the best children's pastors in the nation, and he is gonna do a closing prayer and benediction. Thank you, thank you. Well, you guys, this has been a great day. And I just want to invite everybody, if you would, let's all just come on down close here. And we're just going to end this. You know, the Bible says in Acts chapter 2, verse 44, it says, All those who believed had all things in common. And whenever I think about common core, I think about the core values that we need to have in common. And that needs to be that the Bible is the central truth. Can I get an amen? Amen. That needs to be that we are the ones that have the priority on what our family is taught. Can I get an amen? amen? And that needs to be that we all come together in unity. The Bible says how good and pleasant it is when brethren dwell together in unity. So as we close out this day, we've had people from all different walks of life. We've had people from politics to teachers to parents. But, you know, we have one thing in common, and that is that we want the best for our families. Right. And, you know, every day I have people come to me and they say, we want you to pray for our children. We want you to minister to our children. But, you know, the Bible says if you train up a child in the way they should go, when they're old, they won't depart. So it's up to us to train up our children in the right way. And that's the way that we have the choice to believe is right. If you would, if you just join hands with somebody next to you.